Um, good afternoon. My name is Antoinette. I am a general surgery resident at Penn State Hershey. Uh, these are our disclosures. I unfortunately don't have any. And thank you, Sages, for the opportunity to present. So high-risk patients with uh, gallstone-related um, disease, um, especially the higher-risk higher patients, um, are often managed with percutaneous cholecystostomy tubes. Um, their underlying disease or comorbidities precludes cholecystectomy, and so the PCT is often just remaining chronically. Um, percutaneous endoscopic biliary lithectomy, or the pebble procedure, offers a way to clear stones from the biliary system um, and uh, via the existing drain tract using basiate extraction, laser lithotripsy, or electrohydraulic lithotripsy. Um, the main advantage is that this avoids the morbidity of cholecystectomy or bile duct exploration. Um, there is a dearth of literature on pebble uh, complications in their management, and so we conducted a retrospective chart review uh, for our pebble patients between January 2020 uh, to August 2022 at a single institution. We included adult patients who had in situ percutaneous cholecystostomy tubes for acute calculus cholecystitis. Uh, we included 28 patients with a total of 53 pebbles. Um, as you can see, the mean ASA classification was three, and a little over than two-thirds of our patients were on concurrent therapeutic anticoagulation or antiplatelet therapy. Uh, there was a mean uh, number of 1.8 pebbles per patient. Um, we utilized basket extraction in all of our patients, and a handful required laser lithotripsy or electrohydraulic lithotripsy. We had a complete stone clearance rate of 70%, and during our mean follow-up duration of about two months, we had uh, a complication rate of 9%. Uh, so this was two interop complications and three postoperative complications. Uh, the first uh, inter intraoperative complication was gallbladder rupture on scalp calandrogram. Um, so as we were shooting it, um, the image on the left, um, as you can see, there's contrast filling the pocket under the liver, but there is no contrast going into the biliary tree. Then at around 30 cc's of contrast, uh, contrast was seen flowing around the tube um, and filling up that right upper quadrant space. Um, this is likely due to a complete uh, closure of these, or obstruction of the cystic duct, um, and likely gallbladder rupture um, that was contained in the right upper quadrant. So we aborted the pebble and she ultimately uh, received an open cholecystectomy. The second complication was persistent bleeding from the percutaneous cholecystostomy tube after scalp cholangiogram. So just the process of shooting that cholangiogram caused bleeding um, to be seen from the percutaneous cholecystostomy tube. Uh, the gentleman uh, was actively coagulated on rivaroxaban. Um, he was ultimately, we aborted the pebble, he was discharged, um, but over the span of about two weeks, he had some blood clots like, in his drain and in his tubing. Uh, he underwent drain upsizing, that didn't fix it, and so he ultimately underwent cystic artery embolization about two weeks after uh, this first pebble. Um, there are no plans to definitively manage his cholelithiasis or remove the tube. Uh, we also had three post operative complications. Uh, the first patient had cholangitis um, that was uh, treated with antibiotics and he was discharged. Uh, the second complication was pancreatitis uh, due to drain obstruction, and that required drain repositioning under fluoroscopy. And our last patient had cellulitis at the drain site about 10 days after pebble. Uh, for the first two patients, um, there was no evidence of free air or free fluid to indicate gallbladder rupture. And for all three patients, they ultimately did uh, have complete stone clearance um, after their procedure. So the first patient um, had complete clearance after the second pebble. The second patient had complete stone clearance after the fourth pebble. Um, and then the last patient had complete clearance after the second pebble as well. Um, so in summary, pebble is useful and safe. Um, it does avoid the morbidity of a cholecystectomy or bile duct exploration. Uh, we caution that PEBL should be approached as a stage procedure. So in our cohort, um, patients received an average of 1.9 procedures. Um, complications are not uncommon. Our cohort had a rate of 9%, but the majority can be managed without urgent surgical intervention. Uh, I would say the, mo the main limitation to our study is that there is a high barrier of entry for the PEBL procedure. Um, you need surgeons who are trained in advanced surgical endoscopy, as well as have the necessary equipment and staff to do these procedures. Thank you.